Right. Tony's here looking at our weather. Speaking of active, it's going to be like that tomorrow. Yeah, a lot going on, guys. Uh, already starting to see the fog rolling into the city and, you know, got several waves of, uh, of rain that are going to move through over the next 24 to 48 hours. The culmination is a cold front that sets us up really nicely for the weekend. But before we get there, do want you to be prepared for some active weather to talk about. Right now, 52 in the city. But look at this. Okay, so visibility is not bad right now, but by the time you're up early tomorrow, be mindful that there can be some fog slowing you down on your way into work. So visibility numbers can be as low as less than a mile. That'll be one concern. And then there's the yellow alert. That's for tomorrow night into Friday morning for that strong line of fast moving storms, gusty winds, thunder, heavy downpours, all part of the threats with this system. So what we've got right now is a front that's just stationary to our west. It's why you've had some kind of shower reaction north and west of the city. Some coastal flood alerts as well have been repetitive and with stronger winds coming in with the system, that That'll be a concern as well. Meanwhile, you see all the reports for this storm. It's got a lot of energy, a lot of juice, and it's going to sponsor some some pretty gnarly weather at times. I want to take you through tomorrow morning because I want you to be prepared that first thing there can be some damp conditions in addition to the fog reason to check in with John. He's got you covered in the morning, but it's not an all day rain situation. Certainly you want the umbrella early, but then you'll have some dry time to do whatever you got to do before the next wave comes in, perhaps near the evening commute. And then it kind of gets steadier. So anything you've got planned for tomorrow evening can be challenging the nastiest weather after midnight tomorrow night. And you know, one thing that may be helpful is if this future cast actually pans out and we're able to get through the worst weather before dawn and before the morning rush Friday, that would be helpful. But notice we're not done with the rain through the day. Friday is still unsettled, but starting to see some improvements as we head into the weekend. So winds will be a feature with this. We hang on to the winds most of the weekend. We got a decent amount of sun, maybe a stray shower late Sunday, setting us up really nicely for next week. Uh, numbers in the 70s, not 80. That's 70s. <laughs> Thank you, Tony.